Nobody gets more excited about the holidays than me. I love trimming the tree, doing the outside, but my favorite is the holiday table. That is the center of your family where you show your love, support, and you have a lot of fun. So I'm going to have three different table arrangements on this table today and to show you three different ways to do your table. Hi, this is our first holiday display. This is our snowman display, and since everybody loves snowman, and it is our number one seller during the holiday, I felt it was only fitting to do a table arrangement in that. So we started off with our snowman runner, and then I put a nice frosted garland, and I intertwined it between these two pillars. Of course, we topped it off with our snowman. Also, I took a clear cylinder, and I filled it up with some pine cones, or you could use some fake snow, and then I added a nice little snow pick. Also, we have to have our light for the holiday, so I used our pair little votive holders that I put the votive in, and it added a nice look to our display. Now, this doesn't end here. When you go to entertain after your guests have arrived, you can take your snowman and place them on one of your tables or whatever. You can slide your pick out. And as you can see, we still have the tall pillars and it is a nice still display. Now you can put your dessert plates or your food plates on here and serve and even if you had a buffet, this is a nice table arrangement for a buffet. You can have your food around, and then you can put your high, food high and low here. Now, when all your company is gone, we want to put our arrangement right back. So I'm going to show you how simple that is when you use a riser. We're going to put our snowman, and we're going to slide our pick right back down in. And we're going to put our little candle ring with our snowman. And now we're all ready for our next company to come the next day. This is going to be our burlap display. And I decided to do a nice little woodsy theme. I thought it went nice with the burlap with the pine cones. And I did use a wreath as the center, and it's with our burlap flowers. And this is a wreath I had made at the shop. Then I used our two burlap trees. And then I used a little bit of a frosted tree in the middle. And then I put the little burlap snowman ornaments on it. Also, we have our light, which is our artificial light with one of our timer bulbs. I incorporated our little bird. And we have these bird candles, and they're with our Swan Creek candles and our scents. And that's a nice added feature. It adds a nice smell for the holidays. Now, I thought it would be also nice when you have your chairs to tie a little ribbon and then have a pine cone hanging off it to keep the theme going. This is one of our burlap tabletops. And we have them in a couple different varieties, but I really like the pine cone one. This is our more traditional table. And we used our tablecloth for that. And on our tablecloth, we have a little rim with the holly berries and the poinsettias. And it sets off the tablecloth around the edge. And in it, once again, I used a wreath around the center. And then I incorporated a garland of stars all the way around the wreath. So each side of the wreath, everybody gets a nice view of it. And then we put a lantern in the middle, so this way all sides of the table will get light. And in the lantern, I put a candle ring, and then I placed a pretty sparkly candle that we sell at the shop. And also on top, I put a candle ring. To add punch to the decoration, I added these three big stars. And I think it's a very beautiful Christmas table, very traditional and very formal. You know how whenever you have one idea, then you get 10 more? Well, this is one of my 10. <laughs> I didn't want to stop decorating at my table, so I added some tool to my chair. And then I hung 
a little ornament. This makes the chair special for each guest that comes into your home. And a good suggestion is let them take the ornament home at the end of the night as a special gift from their hostess. I hope you enjoyed our table decorating. I sure did. Hi, welcome back. I want to. Sh I don't want to do this. <laughs> It's not your outside. Is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> well, I gotta think of the next sentence I gotta say. Should I say hello or hi? <laughs> Good afternoon. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> that wasn't what I was supposed to say. Oh my god! How are you? Let me try it again.